When we are notified that a liver has become available, the transplant coordinator will attempt to reach you. They will let you know if you are the primary or the backup recipient. We must be able to reach you 24 hours a day, every day. If we are unable to reach you within one hour, the organ will be offered to the next person on the list. When we receive an organ, there is always a chance that the liver will not be suitable and the transplant will be canceled. If your case is canceled, it does not affect your place on the waiting list. When we notify you to come to the hospital, always bring your current medication list, your insurance card, and your photo ID. The transplant surgery usually takes about 6 to 12 hours, but it can take longer based on your medical and surgical history. You will be under general anesthesia during the surgery, and you will be unconscious and unable to feel pain. The surgeon will make an incision across your abdomen that may look like a Mercedes-Benz symbol, or it may look like a T. Your damaged liver will be removed and will be replaced with a different, healthier liver. During the surgery, your family may wait in our surgical waiting area, known as Maddie's room, on the first floor of the hospital, right next to the cafeteria. The operating room nurse will give your caregivers updates. The surgeon will also talk to your caregivers after the surgery is complete. After the surgery, we will take you to our intensive care unit. You will be connected to several monitors and you will have many tubes and drains. While you are in the intensive care unit, the team will closely monitor your vital signs, your new organ, and your level of comfort and pain control. How long you stay in the ICU is variable, depending on your individual medical needs. Once your medical condition is stable, you will transfer out of the ICU and will go to the medical surgical floor. There, the team will focus on your ability to eat, move, and walk. We will also carefully adjust your medications. The team will start to plan for your transition out of the hospital. Your transplant coordinator will meet with you and your caregivers to review medications and discharge instructions. As you can imagine, there are several potential surgical risks following transplant. Bleeding, additional surgeries, clots in the blood vessels, bile duct complications, re-transplantation, prolonged time on the ventilator, complications from immobility, and death. There are also potential medical risks following transplant. Rejection, infection, cancer, diabetes, decreased kidney function, high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, upset stomach, diarrhea, or constipation, changes in mental status or mood, and headaches. After transplant, you will need to take special immunosuppressant medications for the rest of your life without ever missing any doses. You will need these daily medications to prevent your body from rejecting your newly transplanted liver. Remember, your immune system is designed to destroy foreign cells, such as bacteria and viruses. Your immune system cannot tell the difference between a foreign bacteria cell and the foreign cells that make up your new liver. Rejection happens when your immune system is triggered to attack and kill cells of your new foreign liver. Immunosuppressants help reduce this response and help prevent rejection. Remember, these medications must be taken as prescribed and on time. As with all medications, there are side effects you can expect while taking your lifelong immunosuppressant medications. Weight gain, headaches, nightmares, diabetes, high blood pressure, tremors, and insomnia. It is very common to have very emotional reactions after transplant. 
suffering end-stage organ failure and undergoing organ transplantation are life-changing events for you, your family, and your acquaintances. Having an emotional reaction is normal and expected. You may feel overjoyed, grateful, energetic, and like you have a new lease on life. Conversely, you may experience depression, anxiety, fear, or post-traumatic stress disorder. The side effects from medication can also affect your emotions. So what can you do if you need help with your emotions? We encourage you to seek support. We offer a weekly transplant support group. You may also locate a support group near you. Family, friends, and caregivers are also crucial at this time and can help support you during difficult times. You may also benefit from exercise, eating healthy, getting plenty of rest and sleep, and through creative outlets such as music, arts, and relaxation techniques. Once you go home after the transplant, you will come back to our liver clinic for frequent blood draws and doctor visits. As the risk of organ rejection is greater within the first year after transplant, you will be closely monitored. These frequent visits are crucial to the long-term success of your transplant. In the beginning, you can expect to be seen once a week for four weeks. However, you may need labs drawn twice a week or more. As your condition stabilizes, your liver appointments will slowly stretch out. If you have complications, we may need to see you more frequently. You may also need more frequent labs. Every time you have a liver appointment, plan to be there a good portion of the day, at least until 12 noon. On clinic days, bring all your medications with you for that day. We do not have any medications or insulin at our clinics. Allow extra time for travel to your clinic appointments in case of unexpected traffic delays. We know that clinic visits are long and tiring, but they are very important to the success of your transplant. Your insurance may require co-payments for clinic visits, tests, and medications. The monthly cost of these depends on your insurance and your insurance co-pay coverage. Our financial counselors will check on copay coverage. Occasionally, copayments can be over $500 per month.